Well, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, we are on another career session of the week and the last one of this week. Uh, yeah, so let's dive into it. But before I put presentation, I would um, love just to hear from us, just from everyone. Uh, does anybody here has a journal where, or a diary, oh, a diary, that's how we call them, just like a journal where you write um, most of the things that you've learned or something that happened to you? I know it's so, most of the ladies, we do that. Uh, but I think the journals, you know, most of the people do that, no matter the gender. Does anyone have that kind of notebook or book? Anyone? If you don't, you can even type in the chat box that you don't. Biniam, you do? Yes, can you open your mic and share a bit of what you share there? Uh, I mean, what you write there and how often do you do that? Uh, what's the experience like? Do you like it? Or, you know, just share with us. Um, hello, everyone. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I kind of do have um, kind of a notebook where I, you know, write down my thoughts in it before I decide something. And also, I generally like use it as like a second brain, like where I gather my thoughts and, you know, um, the outline everything, list things that I need right now or things I wish to do next year or next month or in the future and stuff that I learn. It's basically like something that helps me not fool myself, you know? In front of myself, it helps me against self deception. I'm so scared of you know deceiving myself into stuff like uh, thinking that I know something without actually knowing stuff. You know, it's kind of complicated to explain, but it's where I actually it's like a mirror for myself, you know, like it actually shows me the real me. and then it's actually where I judge myself within, you know, it's not just something that. I write what happens to me on a daily basis, but it's more like a general thing. Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's amazing. Clear, yeah? <laughs> mm. yeah, yeah, it's very, very clear. That's amazing. Anyone else like the last person? Anyone else? Okay, so probably we don't have anyone else, but it's a really good practice having somewhere you write your uh, learnings or your view about different things or something just you don't want to forget. You know, it's a very good practice. And actually today's uh, challenge is going to be about that. It's going to be about a life uh, learning uh, strategy that we are going to be embarking, you know, in our career challenges for the rest of our the months that we have to spend here. And it's also about, uh, you know, Tuesday Kahoot quiz was about, it, it had a few questions that, um, that had to, um evaluate the how to evaluate how often do you read about the trainings especially in our area tech in general and uh do we even even if it's not a trend at least do we even know about different developments that are happening uh you know what are we doing about it are we reflecting about it are we thinking about what we can do or the opportunities that can come from these, you know, in the near future. All those kind of questions, all those kind of questions. So the Tuesday kind of CBS fun challenge, it was ar around that a bit, even though it wasn't deeper into 
the biggest developments that are happening it was just you know it was there just to be fun but uh today's career develop career challenge it's going to be it's going to go deeper into that you know uh before i confuse you let me just explain the challenge and then you will hear exactly what i mean so the challenge is uh lifelong learning strategies on breakness pace of generation ai development it cannot okay can you hear me hello okay yeah because i was seeing that a notification that i lost my internet okay <clears throat> Yeah, let flung learning strategies on breakness pace on chain AI development. So the intro. Uh, why this? It's because uh, the world, especially in the last year, the world experienced a massive change towards adopting AI. And like who can imagine that, uh, when, when was it last December? I think that's when ChatGPT celebrated their one year anniversary. Like when you think about it, you feel like chat gpt has been there for long you know you you can imagine just like it's just one year old you know so there has been a lot of change a lot of development when it comes to ai or when it comes to even uh tech in general and this adoption has increased the productivity the quality and timely delivery of deliverables and um, amongst other AI, generative AI is considered the most widely accepted AI because of its huge impact in the tech space. Generative AI, especially, of course, like I said, it's like ChatGPT, like Bold, Google Bold, or any gen AI that is there. Um, and uh, most companies have integrated this AI in their systems, such as even here we have nana of 10 academy so you can even refer to that if you want to understand what we mean here and as of today it suffices that to say that uh individuals or even organization uh that has not adopted ai are living in the past you know like so many people say and the tech space is moving at an exponential rate such that individuals must move at the rate to be at uh, the power rate of the latest technology trend therefore we must be strategic enough to engage in the intentional uh continuous learning to avoid being obsolete for instance um before me going to another statement uh yes we have a lot going on uh that sometimes we even a lot going on especially here at an academy uh the projects every assessment everything is like super heavy it's very intense that most of the time we don't find time for anything else and we don't want to we be graduating with just the knowledge we have uh knowledge that 10 academy provided us but how are we going to live with knowing where the world is like being absolutely updated on what's going on in the world and we have probably started thinking about what we can do about it you know even getting to know the upcoming big companies that we can be joining because when we talk about um you know for instance the past challenge about the three reward uh jobs that you would like to take we probably looked at the companies that we don't even know their products you know but just because they are advertised the job and you feel like you qualify and you feel like you can even join the company but you don't understand the product very well and most of these companies post about their updates or anything that they are developing or if they are like a booming country and they have a very innovative and creative idea they are always in the media you know the media is talking about them so how about we be out there looking for jobs but knowing exactly where we are looking you know, and it's not even uh, for the sake of us knowing what jobs we will be wanting by that time or what companies to join. It's even us being updated, you know, on what's going on in the world. It's very, very important as professionals in our field. So what, um, what are we going to be doing in this challenge? 
this challenge, uh, we are going to be creating a learning journal first and foremost, and it will serve as a lifelong learning for us. And this journal, we will be documenting our learnings each month, each month, just from January to July or June. You know, it will depend on any kind of changes that might happen in the schedule, but predicting until the very last month that we'll be having, we are going to be documenting our learnings in that journal. And the content of the document will be independent to your technical learning at technical at Ten Academy. Rather, uh, it will focus on your deliberate learning to stay up to date with the changes in the industry. I will go ahead and explain further. The journal should be sectioned into two months. Each month we have it specific. You will be starting your journaling e this month. Let me separate this. Yep, you will be starting your journaling this month in January, especially this week. And due to the limited time, the deadline of this exercise will be divided into three difficult levels that is easy, intermediate, and advanced. I will explain what this easy, intermediate, and advanced mean. And all trainees, you are expected to complete and submit at least easy, difficult levels by Saturday. Then January 13th, um, so on Saturday, on this specific date. Then by January 31st, we expect you all to have completed the intermediate level. You do not need to resubmit the intermediate level, by the way, because you will be submitting the link to your Google Doc on this Saturday, we'll be receiving the link to your Google Doc. Uh, so we'll be having the access to the document for monthly reviews. This exercise is a continued exercise. So there are four. We want you to complete at least an intermediate level and document all important information about your learning each month. So let me not complicate you. Let's go through what we mean by easy, by intermediate, by how the journal should look like, everything. Let me even open it. So what do we mean by what we are submitting on Saturday? The easy port. So you are going to source for two journals or articles. Let me remove the word journal because it might complicate us. We are going to be looking for two articles or blog posts. Two articles or blog posts from a reliable source and down here we have provided a reliable platform that you can start looking into by the way then you are going to be checking the subheading recent article or even blog platform note that you are not limited to any platforms by the way uh you can use the ones that you want uh are, even though they are not the ones that we pre we provided here we provided a few that you can be looking into which we believe they are reliable. But if you know more where you can read more about the recent gen AI or tech trends, you are free to go there as long as it's a reliable one. Then the article can focus, uh, of course, on any uh, topic related to tech advancement or developments. Then uh, again, the article or the blog posts must be at most three weeks old. I hope you understand the essence of us looking into the blog posts or articles that are three weeks old. It's because this assessment, you should be submitting it every month. And if we are in February, let's say, for example, if you're in February, uh, you cannot look for a blog post that was posted in January because already in January, you looked up to it and you submitted it, you know, you submit, you added it in your journal. So in February, on the very last Saturday, we mentioned it here, on the very last Saturday of the month, you will be having to have your journal updated with your learnings, uh, with your learnings from those blog posts. Then from there, uh, you have to read the articles. This is the main task. 
read the articles and summarize the key points. The summary of each article must not be less than five bullet points. They can be statements or even sentences as, as long as you want, but just keep the five bullet points. Then document your new learnings and indicate any practical skill you acquired. Then schedule a call with your peer partner to share the knowledge you, got, you gained in those articles. I will pause a bit here again. The peers we are talking about, they are the peers from your career challenges, not from your tech challenges, from your career challenges, the ones that you met during peer mentorship challenge. All right, if your peer is not still active, please reach out to me on Slack and then we figure out how we can have you join another group. Then you have to share with your peer just about what you learned from that article and then document the new the knowledge or learnings uh, from the peer partner. Um, let me show you how the journal template looks like. Okay, we have a small template here, but it's just for January. So for January, uh, we have for January and also for Saturday, you have just to provide the title of the article or the video you watched, and then the link or to the article or even the video you watched, or even a screenshot of the title, anything that is easy, but the links are better. The links are better because they are easy to access. And then the summary of the article, the five bullet points we, we talked about, and then new learnings point, new learning points, anything you learned from uh, this article. Then you have to schedule your own time with your peer and talk about each one of your learnings or just from the blog post you read or any articles you read and share the summary here. Please in your summary, add your peer name. Better for easy reference. Of course, we have the list, but just say, oh, today I met Biniam and we talked about uh, this chat GPT new product that is upcoming, this and that. And then if you feel like there is any skill gap, like do you think there is anything that should be, uh, you know, that that this chat GPT, from the example I gave, that this chat GPT can do to better their product or anything else. This is not mandatory, but please share us if you feel like there is any gap that you believe you they should be solving, you know, just from your knowledge. And then plan to apply the new knowledge. Do you have any plan to apply the new knowledge? Where? What do you think you can do? The two last are optional, but really good for us to think about, to reflect about. This is how we get business ideas, guys, you know? And then we can be talking to Arun and Diaby on how to get their fundings, I'm telling you. <laughs> Let's come back to our challenge. But before I proceed, I feel like I've talked a lot of things and I don't want to confuse you. Can we pause here a bit? And if there are any questions, we get to ask them. Any questions? Yes, Abdullahman. Uh, sorry, I feel uh, like uh confused in uh, in what article should be short uh, should be display should uh, uh, should it be uh, contain more details about the technical thing or should it be something readable for others uh, I don't get it I think uh, I didn't I didn't get this point uh, okay most of the articles most of the articles are, uh, you know, are displayed on the public view. So 
it means everyone can read and be able to understand that you get it, 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 and i don't know if any article contains any codes i don't know most of the time it's just documented and about the progress or what's going on it's okay if they are using any technical terms add them there that's the main purpose add them there just look for articles or blog posts that talks about the advancement and developments in gen ai or even in the tech space in general and then write about it okay thank you yeah yeah oh uh, well any one more question Any more questions or we proceed? Can I get some thumbs up if everything is okay? Okay, Rodolf. Okay. Um, there is a part uh, when you were showing the, how the, the summary will look like. You said the two, the two results are optional. You were saying that uh, it is a way you can get some business idea and uh we can even uh, share them with the the founder half yes this part and uh, you can share them with the uh, our own uh, i don't know this kind of one and maybe it will be the beginning of uh, a new business so uh what i would like to ask is uh, are you encouraging us to to develop also our internet? A oh no 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 no! Uh, sorry, probably I communicated that wrong, but it was a joke. So I told I, I said all these from here to here they are mandatory to fill. Like you should fill them, but here to here they are optional. But we encourage them we encourage you to fill them you know because that's when you get to evaluate what you, the gap from what you read and the knowledge you have and what you can do better if you were the person developing that you get what i'm saying yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it's it's not like you know ignore the Arun thing <laughs> it was a joke <laughs> <laughs> okay by the way yeah. it, is there mm -hmm. this program any uh any special uh, part where uh you guys are encouraging entrepreneurship and um, i don't know oh oh yeah thank you rodolfo for raising that that should be part of our you know careers that's something we are also planning about and we'll be sharing with you in the upcoming months, our different challenges we have about it. Okay, nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other question or we continue? Or is everything okay? Can we give some thumbs up? Okay, okay. Glad to hear that everything is okay. Um, okay, let me get back to my presentation.
-hmm. okay so yeah actually i found it easier if i don't bombard you with so many information for now so for now let's focus on the saturday and then later we focus on the january submission so for saturday deadline yes saturday um you are going to be taking these as a trial exercise of course it will be marked but it's going to be a learning for you on how you're going to be the rest of the months because those will be evaluated by Aaron himself. The rest of the mass will be evaluated by Aaron himself. He just want to assess our main progress on the learnings on what's trending around the world. But for Saturday ones, we are just, the career team are just evaluating it and we are going to be focusing on this. You are specifically again, going to source two articles, blog posts or anything. The article must be at more three weeks old then you are going to read them, them sum, then summarize the key points, what do you think like they are the key points there uh, in less than or maximum five bullet points, and then document the new learnings, schedule a call with your peer, and then document the knowledge, and add them in your channel, in your journal. When you submit, you are going to ensure, okay, great, here are the submission. You are going to develop a journal with a template for the next six months. See the template, that's the one. And the template should have the following details, like it's in the template, specifically, nothing much. Then in the template uh, provided for January, you have to fill in all details in the templates. Yes, I already said that. And ensure that when you are submitting on tanks, you are submitting the link to your journal, not the PDF, not anything else just the link to your journal because uh on a monthly basis you will be coming to have another can i call it another page and call it february and then march and then april so that at the end of the whole um 10 academy trainings you will be having your own journal of the main learnings of what you've been learning in the tech trends out here so yep that is it Anything else about uh, the intermediate, uh, you know, about the intermediate and advanced level, we will share it at the beginning of February so that we get to know what we expect in the next month. I believe Arun will tell you actually more about that. Uh, Arun and Abdullahi. So the marking rubric, we have the quality of writing. Uh, your summary as you are writing from uh from what you read we are looking for a, a writing free of spelling or mistakes or grammatical errors you know so just ensure that the report is well formatted with titles subheadings and bullet points as requested and then the exploration we want to hear about your key points key, key points that you shared if i am the one who read your summary would I uh, really get to understand what's in the type, what's in the article without me going to read the full article? And then on the documentation part, uh, you provided uh, detailed and well-organized documentation showcasing deep reflections and applied learning and future application plans. This is where the extra points on what I called optional in the template comes in. So it's optional, but please, if we can see our, any future application plans that you have or any skill gap or any gap that you believe is there and you document about it, that would be really highly much appreciated. And of course, it's in the marking rubric, so pick what you do. Then the quality of knowledge has the trainee demonstrated of, uh, an understanding of the title. Is the knowledge relevant in the tech industry? Is the knowledge applicable? Is it not like uh, those kind of, uh, um, how do we call it? I'm forgetting this name of, but of this kind of fake videos that goes around, imaginary videos of flying cars and you know everything. 
I mean, if it's not an imaginary idea anymore, it's all right, write about it, you know, all those kind of <laughs> coming kind of blogs about flying cars and flying motorbikes. I mean, you know, just let's have any uh, relevant and realistic ideas being shared or interesting ones. So, yeah. That is it. Uh, we'll go ahead and edit a few things in here, but that's the whole challenge. Is it exciting? Like for me, I believe this is very exciting. Very, very exciting. Uh, getting to learn all this. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Any any few reviews? Anyone who wants to speak? Yes, AI. Yes, AI, you can speak. You are muted. The, the network is slow here. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. yeah, now we can hear you. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's a good idea. Uh, I mean, uh, it will help us to cope up with the fastly growing era of technology. I mean, um, was it yesterday or before? Yes, I think it's it was yesterday. Uh, during that game, I only answered two because <laughs> uh, those kinds of uh, informations uh, look irrelevant sometimes, but they are very important. Uh, so th this this will be a, a fun one, and it will be an 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 educated one. Yeah, it will be good. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I'll I'll I like to hear that. Um, thanks, Aya, for sharing. Anyone else? Uh, anyone else, Tim? Like, what do you think about this? Uh, actually, we can stop the recording for now. And then we have one last reflection and we join uh, the guest talk. Mm, I'm waiting for one more person. Yes, Ahmed. Uh, I feel this will be good because uh, with this uh, too much information, uh, you need to to put it to write it. So when you want to write your CV in future or something like that, you can exactly find uh, what you want. I'm not sure is that clear, but uh... I try to advance more on the. CV writing part, 